So I just finished reading Rendezvous with Frama by Arthur C. Clarke. By the way, this is the third book I've ever read by Mr. Clark. Previously, I read 2001 Space Odyssey. Well, I read all four books in that series, but I'm just going <laughs> to say that it's one book and not four, actually. Then I read Childhood's End, like, last month or something. I've not really talked about this book in a previous video or whatever. I should maybe do something, but yeah. I just wanted to talk about Rendezvous with Rama, mainly because I enjoyed this book. It's not my favorite Arthur C. Clarke book, but it's, even though it's not one of my favorite, it's my least favorite so far, it's still kind of, you know, one of the best book I've read so far. It might be the book of the month for May, actually. But more on that a bit later. So this video will contain some spoilers, later on and i'll just you know warn you when that's going to happen on with the story mainly there's a ship in our solar system at first we thought it was a meteorite or asteroid i don't really remember what's the main difference between these two things but it's a rock in space that's what they <laughs> thinking it is uh, but it turns out it's a an alien ship and so a group of astronauts is being tasked to explore it, essentially. But they're more like archaeologists than astronauts, essentially, because Rama seems dead, essentially. So they're feeling like, you know, archaeologists. There's a lot of parallels being thrown, you know, between exploring ancient Egypt and this spaceship essentially because it feels like a tomb at first but yeah that's mainly the main point of this of the story so there's this abandoned quote-unquote abandoned spaceship abandoned or dead it's not quite clear what it is I enjoyed this book for what it is it influenced so many other authors books video games and so on while reading the book i had strong you know flashbacks of other books that i've read or movies that i watched mainly like aliens i had strong there's a lot of parallels between this book and let's say aliens or the video game dead space also you know they're kind of the same thing as aliens and this book a little bit but also a book that I've read last year and I might put a link for this video but Ship of Fools by Richard Paul Russo there's a lot of similarities between these two books I just think that Mr. Russo did a better job <laughs> at the it's not really the same concept but I think that the approach that Mr. Russo had could have worked in here uh, but more on that on the um, spoiler section, which is coming actually right now. So if you've not read the book, I would stop watching the video right now and just go and read it because it's a fun read. You don't see the end coming. And it's a short book. Like it's, I don't know, 300 pages. Uh, not It's not even 300 pages, so it's not really a long read. So go on, read it. Like it took me two days to actually finish it and it was good but I, as i said i just have some problems so i'll be spoiling a little bit the ending so if you've not read it stop watching the video right now so if you're still here let's go on with spoilers so the main topic of the book the main concept of the book is that humans don't really matter in the grand scheme of things in the universe because essentially Rama is just, in our solar system, it's just a gas. They're just refueling their ship, essentially, from our sun. That's all there is to it. We're just a stop. We're just, yeah, they're just, they're not even bothering waking up <laughs> you know, in our solar system. So we don't really matter. The only problem I have with this concept, I, it's a concept that I really enjoy that, you know, it's not, it's almost cosmic horror. 
but it's not you know it just fell a bit short because it didn't really embrace that whole not necessarily cosmic horror but that level of despair you know that humans don't matter in the end and i would have liked for people dying maybe in the books having characters dying or at least having some sense of danger and dread but there's none here it all feels safe you know there's no you never i never felt like anybody was maybe going to get hurt or die and as i said like in the ship of fools book like people are dying left and right and it just adds to that concept of humans don't really matter but ship of fools was more horror almost cosmic horror rama is not really that vibe but it could have been feel like it would have been a masterpiece if it would embrace that aspect of cosmic horror you know that dread that humans don't matter in the universe still a very good book so that's it for this review thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far in the video i really appreciate it i appreciate you thank you and i will see you in the next one let's drop this mic rather slowly and i will see you next time until next time